okay so back to our ide now let me go to the project tab i've just done some small refactorings here so i did say that the eclipse micro profile config let's just go straight to the api briefly here it is the config source api is an interface it implements any implementation uh, implement this interface to provide a config source so out of the box the eclipse micro profile gives you these three pre-implemented config sources the micro profile dash config dot properties file with an ordinal of 100 then you have environmental properties that have an ordinal of 300 and then you have system properties with an ordinal of 400 so these are all that you get from the scratch or out of the box this is what you get from the micro profile config api so let's take this one for a spin back to our ide here I have created this file for us so let me just add some config data let me say my dot name yeah let me just put this as payara server like this so i've just put some data in here let me save this now let's go back here we already have a resources class here ping here let's just change this to config and then let's let's come here now we have the data in here how do we get access to it in our java classes it's very simple let's say at inject like this and then we come here we say at config property property config 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 property like this and then we can say private private string name like this now this here yes do this for me as well config property p like this so let me just import this yes great so we have this here is a string and we are using the at inject annotation from enterprise java at inject here and then we are using the config property at config property annotation from the micro profile api now if you look here this particular key here is linked to this value now to get access to this particular value i should be able to get it through this but this won't quite work because i really haven't told the config api how to get this using this key if i had left this as it is like this then by default this particular field name here is the same as the key and so this would have worked but i did add this so this won't quite work as it stands now good for us the config property takes parameters so we can say name like this so the name i.e the key to the data that we are looking for in this case we want this para server so the key here is my name so i'll just copy this and come and paste it here like this i'll save and then there's another parameter here which is default value default value is telling the config runtime that when you go and you don't get anything then default to this particular value so let's just say hello world in case we don't get any value let's just say hello world so this is how you fetch data from config sources now it doesn't matter what kind of config source you have this is how you fetch data from that config source. You use at inject and then at config property. Now you would want to use the name if the, the, the field is not the same as the key. Mostly I like to go this particular uh, path because it's clear and easy to understand. So my.name here is the name of the key here to get this particular data for us. So we are in this case, we are getting this data from uh properties file here now those same data could be 
in another config source. Now, if that config source has a higher ordinal than our properties file, then that config source is going to take precedence. Now, if you come to the API, let's just refer to it quickly. It says the microprofile-config.properties uh, file, which is what we have here, has an ordinal, has an ordinal of 100. So essentially, this is like this particular file is like the the lowest of 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 the low so any other config source that has a higher ordinal even if it is 101 will take precedence as long as we have the same key value pair in there so back here this is how you fetch data from config sources it doesn't matter what kind of config source you have this is how you fetch data for it so let's just come here and then return the name here like this oops Let's just return the name like this. Let me just exit the full screen. So let's just return this name here. So we have a path here, config, and then we just make a get request. We want to get the name, which is all fine and good for a hello world. Now let's run our application. Before we can, we need to add the Pyra server to the NetBeans IDE. To do so, you come to the services tab, and then you just uh, right click, add server choose Pyra server next you would need to navigate to wherever you will extracted the zip file you downloaded from the Pyra server to in my case i have a specific folder where i do all of those so i say service i come to this particular one i choose this oops i need to go further one step further it's in a folder this one then i choose so that's it. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Everything works fine. Local domain, next. Domain one, and then I just hit finish. Okay, so my server is in here. So as you can see, the server is already running. So now we can deploy our application on it. Let me just pick this one, Para server. So let me just say remember permanently, hit. So this is going to deploy application and then we can finally, finally take it for a spin. So let's wait for you to deploy and then we come back to discuss further.